102.7 Kiss FM. Let's get to Ryan's Roses. I, we have Isabel on the phone from Chino. Check the timing out on this. She says, we're getting married next summer, but no one knows. It's starting to bother me that he wants to keep our engagement a secret. Weird. Now that I've found a second phone, I wonder if there's someone else. So I want to make sure we fact check this. Isabel, good morning, and thank you for coming on. No one good knows morning, about. Ryan. Good morning. No one knows about your wedding next summer. No one knows about our wedding. Are yeah. you eloping? <laughs> well, not necessarily. Uh, we both turn thirty next summer, and so we wanted to do a joint birthday party and kind of like be a surprise. They're like, "Oh, surprise! We're getting married instead." That's cute. Absolutely. Got it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's get to the yeah. difficult stuff. It's starting to bother you. He wants to keep the engagement a secret. Why is that? Well, part of it is because I found a second phone that he has. Uh, and so I'm starting to get suspicious that maybe there's somebody else. And part of it is because I want to tell my parents, like, I, I have this dream of, like, buying my wedding dress with my mom and telling my best friend and doing all the stuff that, you know, a bride wants to do. And did, I'm not able to do that. Did you ask him about the second phone and what its purpose is? I actually did ask him, like, what was that? And he said that it was a work phone. But could be. I, I'm confused because he used it as his personal phone as a work phone all of a sudden this second phone appeared and it's supposed to be a work phone and i'm actually thinking maybe he has somebody else and that's why he doesn't want me to say anything about this engagement this seems like a lot of assuming yes sisney go ahead isabel okay think about this for just one second before we go down this road you want to have this surprise wedding next year so maybe this is all part of it like does he maybe there's just a miscommunication that like you want to keep the engagement a secret as well so everyone is just Boom, surprise. Uh, that's what I think. I don't know, because I feel like if I tell my parents and I tell them, I want my parents to be able to go to that party. If I don't if I don't say anything to my parents, what if they just don't go to the party? I want my parents to be there. And it's so weird that I have to keep it fully a secret to everybody, including the people that are really close to me. Yeah. Okay, well... I, I, it's just... But that seems yeah. like something, like a different issue than cheating. But let's... Put you on hold. We will come back in just a second. We will call your fiance and see if we can find out, all right? Okay, thank you. I just wonder if she's jumping to conclusions. Could all be part of the whole thing. We're in the middle of Ryan's roses. So many times you go into these and I think, okay, we got a real issue here. I'm not so sure I think there's a real issue here. She and her fiance are getting married next summer. They're going to say it's their dual 30th birthday party and then surprise just kidding it's our wedding Mm -hmm. it's kind of fun they also are not telling people that they're engaged but she wants to tell people he's saying no 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 can i keep a secret but that kind of blows the 30 celebration if they tell people they're engaged they're gonna know too i think so too but you can tell your mom and your dad i think or you know your best friend of anybody in the world you can't trust to tell other people it's your mom and your dad when you get engaged totally Mm -hmm. i mean tell me about it yeah they're gonna spill the beans for sure right they're the ones that want to tell everybody about it Mm -hmm. so now she found a second phone so what's the second phone about? So she's taking all these things and adding them up to think that he might be cheating. Mm-hmm. But the second phone could be a work phone, could be for planning stuff. Who knows? So let, let's find out what we can. Isabel is on the line. Isabel, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then your fiance's name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have permission to call on Kiss FM. Okay, we are going to do that now. Be very quiet until we tell him he's on the air, okay? Good luck, and here we go. Okay. Hello? Hi, is this Dustin? Yes. Hi, Dustin. My name is Winnie. I'm calling from The Fresh Florist. How are you doing this morning? Great, thank you. 
So we service the Chino area, and actually we're offering local residents a promotion today. It's a dozen free roses that you could send to anybody that you'd like. So what that means is that we would just need the name of the person you want to send them to and a note, and they're absolutely free. They would get them today by lunchtime. Huh. Really? So, like, I mean, how are you guys, like, turning a profit, giving away free flowers? We just do this promotion once a month. Gotcha. And then, like, how'd you get my number? You may have purchased something online with one of our partners and opted to receive promotional um, things. So that's how we get our database. I got you. Um, I mean, sure, why not? Let's try it. Great. So uh, I just need the name of the person you want to send the roses to. Be Peyton. Peyton, is that with a P-A-Y-T-O-N? Yes. Okay. And what would you like to put on the note? Um, good luck tonight. Love mom and dad. That's cute. Okay. Dustin. Um, hello? Dustin, your voice is being broadcast on the radio right now. I need you to know that. And I have your fiance Isabel on the line. Are you joking? Who's Peyton? Oh, who, Justin, who? who's Peyton? Um, it's my daughter. You have a daughter? What the hell, Justin? What the hell, man? What are you I mean, doing? Like, what? Wait a wait, second. Wait, like, what's going on? Wait, wait, what are you we doing of right now? Telling me that you had a daughter. What is wrong I with have you? A, yeah, I have a daughter. Like I wanted to tell you, and I was going to. It just like it. It just wasn't the right time. Oh my God, Dustin, are you kidding me? When you proposed to me, it would have been a freaking perfect time to tell me that you have a daughter. Isabel, are you like. Kidding me? Are you Can we just please me? do this another time? Can we please do no, this another time? No, we cannot time? do this another time. We cannot do this another time. You needed to be honest with me. How, when were you like, thinking of telling me all this? You, I can't even believe it. All this, all this time we've been engaged, and you have me keep this engagement a secret, and you're not telling me that you have a I'm daughter. I'm sorry. Like I'm so you, sorry. I just no. You're not sorry. This is so I'm, horrible. You're so shady. How did I believe you all this time? You can't even believe you're not telling me anything. I'm going to oh tell God. you. Let's just talk about it later. Like, I, I, I'm, I don't want to talk about this right now. Oh my Can we just God, talk I about this even, later? This is worse. This is worse than I, what I have thought. This is not okay. Dustin, sorry, like, <laughs> Dustin, this is all on the air. And I just want to, I want to ask you, who is mom? Oh. Her name's, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say her name on the radio. This is Okay, but then Dustin, insane. are you in, in addition to you not telling your fiance you have a daughter, do you also have another significant other that you're in a relationship with right now? Like it's just a really complicated situation. Okay, I clearly no. understand that. But was your plan is your plan to uh, marry Isabel and have a, another relationship at the same time? Look, I'm just I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not going to f- figure this out right now on the radio. This is so. Crazy. When were you going to tell what? Isabel yeah. you had a daughter? I'm, I was going to tell her, obviously, it, I can't keep it a secret forever. I was going to tell her. It's just really complicated. But it sounds like you're and, in a relationship with somebody else, too, her mom. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's just really complicated. It's not what you guys think. It is not that type of relationship. You know, we're kind of co-parenting in, a, in what we think is a good way, the best way possible. And um, and that's it. And so why Isabel, didn't I'm you? Gonna, so, so Dustin, why didn't you want to tell Isabel? What was the reason? I just I don't know. I just haven't figured out. 
how to tell her, and it hasn't been, you know, it's just been recently that it's gotten a little bit more complicated with the whole situation, obviously with the, the engagement, but also with what's going on in my daughter's life. And, you know, it's, I've been able to manage it a little bit easier up until this point. It's just what it is. How old is Peyton, Dustin? She is nine. Oh, my God. That's How long have you been together, Isabel? Wow. We've been together for about a year and a half. Oh, my goodness. I cannot even believe this. I, I, I would. How did you keep this secret? Like, I mean, I don't even understand like, when you see her. Are you married? No, I was like, talk, you need to I be talk, honest. I'm not married. I was. I'm gonna talk to you about it. I don't want to do it on air. It's. We just. No, I just have I to figure some things out. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. So, Isabel, this there's is no coming okay. back. There's no coming back no. from this. No, no. How do you? How do I trust him? Is this is like a really big thing. How do you trust somebody? Like, oh. no, 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 Isabel, no, no. you can definitely trust me. It's not, it's not that crazy. No, I, I just no. want to talk to you, <laughs> not on the air. I just have to figure some things out. That's it. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't All want right. to talk to you anymore. Isabel, I, can, I cannot imagine your shock and your... Yeah what you feel right now no I mean like this is supposed to be my life like we were supposed to get married and like I, I don't know what I'm gonna do well I he's hung up he, your fiance is hung up I mean I, I the oh questions I have are I mean th- look it's I this is a real it's a tough one because you need to think through this and I think let the emotions settle at some point and then do do you want to try to find out what he was trying to protect his daughter from maybe there's something to that I mean, I mean like I just don't understand how I didn't I didn't know about this, you know, like Yes, I know. It yeah. makes it yeah, well, it's all having behind all, your back. Yeah. She's sure. thinking of all the past year and a half, all and, the times and, and, that he and, said and, he was gonna be somewhere and this. Yeah, yeah, and who knows what he was really doing in all of those situations. But look, uh I would take a minute to just work through the emotions you've yeah. got or talk to somebody that's close to you and then Okay. Have a conversation with him and find out what's really going on. All right. Okay. All right, Isabel. I'm okay. so so sorry. Big hugs to you. Sorry, sweetie. Good luck. Okay. Thank you so much. Right. Okay. okay. I mean, I can only. I, what's that shot? My for? heart. My heart breaks. <sighs> Everybody, Tanya, Patty, Sisany, gather around, huddle up, because Ryan's rose a few Whew. minutes ago. Uh, Isabel found out that Dustin, her fiance, has a child that's nine years old. Wow. They've been together for a year and a half. She didn't know about this child at all. At all. He says he was going to tell her they're going to get married, well, scheduled to get married next summer. And she just found out about it. He said, well, uh, I was going to tell you. I was protecting her by not telling you. I'm co-parenting with her mom, but there's nothing going on. I mean, is it, like, I must have to. I need a pen, not a sharpie, to write down on a piece of paper all the different levels here. Yeah, so, there's so many layers of the onion. So she clearly, Isabel, is shocked and feels duped and lied to, and all, all of those synonyms because she was it. I mean, she she did not really know everything about the man that she's about to marry. That the man is a father with somebody else. Yeah, that's shocking. You think about your life and the the future with this person, and it's completely shattered now because it's completely different. So now let's let's work a week out, like a week out from now. Okay. Isabel, his emotions calm have down. subsided. Okay. I don't like the words "calm down." I don't like them. <laughs> I don't use them. I don't use them for myself or anybody else. Don't like them. Touche, touche. Emotions have subsided. Okay. It's and. 
he, Dustin, the fiance, says, look, I didn't tell you about my nine-year-old because... Explanation. Because the, her mom is crazy, and she I don't know what she would have done, and she would have completely ruined our relationship and made your life hell. Well, then, or or yeah. not blame the mom, but instead say, I am a coward, and I don't have the, yeah, he won't say that. <laughs> the guts to face my daughter and tell her I found someone else. That's part of it, too. But he well, I mean, she is that. nine years old, so she's too young to understand, maybe. But no, nonetheless, we shouldn't blame the mom. We don't know the mom. So well, there, all scenarios. there could be a plethora of scenarios as to why he felt he was protecting his daughter or himself by not telling his girlfriend then fiance of a year and a half about the daughter. But does it mean the relationship totally ends or is there a... I mean, he's not seeing anybody else, he's not cheating. I'm just making up some scenario here. He's not cheating. He just ha- was a coward or made a mistake or mm-hmm. couldn't face it or whatever, and he, he calls himself out on it. Like, does that mean that she shouldn't marry him? No, I think he can redeem himself by telling the truth to everyone involved, including his daughter and the baby mama, and make this wedding public. And do all of... Do, does... Does Dustin, Isabel, and the mother of Peyton, do they all need to sit in a room and talk about it? I don't know that that's necessary. All right, bad idea. But I just... uh... At the end of the day, he lied for a year and a half. But there yeah, might have no been. Trust. Bit, there's no trust. There's no trust in that relationship. The whole I, I, relationship I is a lie. I, 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 yes, but did he do it because he was a coward? Did he do it because there was a some sort of other protective reason that may have been right or wrong right. that he felt was right. I just right, don't know yeah. that you can say, I'm not going to be with you until you really get to the bottom of it. And mm-hmm. yeah, look, mm-hmm. in in Isabel's mind and in our mind, like all of us, would, of course we'd feel like we were dating somebody we didn't even know or engaged to. But I have a soft spot for somebody doing something to protect their kid that makes me think... Uh, okay, you suck for a little bit here, Dustin, and it sucks to be me here because I'm in the dark, but maybe you were putting your kid first. Yeah. However, does that mean that I'm not a priority to you if we do get married? I mean, there's another level of questions there. I know what you mean with the kid thing in the soft spot. Like, could this be a funny story in 10 years? You know. Well, no, maybe. I don't ever think it's going to be a comedy. <laughs> but Like, could they get past it? Patty? Maybe, but. I think what matters is how he moves forward and how he tries to fix this. He could either crawl under a rock and say, you know, this, you know, I, I, I can't do this. I can't fix this. Or he can, you know, take ownership of this and fix it. Yeah, but I think I'm saying she should hear him out. Right. I think so, too. But and she not just have walk to. away. If she doesn't but, want to, she has all rights. Well, of course, that. But wouldn't you want to make a? But wouldn't you want to make a thoughtful, non-emotional decision involved? Because is, there's a kid involved. Yeah, Maybe, but at everything. this point, she doesn't. She doesn't owe him anything. He lied to her for a year and a half. Let me grab New York, L.A. N.Y.L.A. Is that your name? N.Y.L.A. Nyla. Yes. Representing two cities there. N.Y.L.A. Nyla. <laughs> That's cool. um, so what what do you think you've heard all of it what do you think ryan this has red flags all over it all over it through and through first off your partner has a phone that you don't know about what in the blue clues is going on here then wait a minute let's go to the second blurring red flag why are you a secret this is like a whole other meaning to hide your kids hide your maybe your wife <laughs> we're gonna have to get this together um dustin he's nervous he can't come up with the right answers now you see why they say big pimpin isn't easy so isabella you're gonna have to just keep it moving so the you think she just walks away from the whole thing the wedding she doesn't even know who she's dealing with how in the hell do you have a relationship with someone who has a nine-year-old daughter and you guys have been together for a year and a half and he's never yeah. told you it's true. It's a lie. It's a year and a yeah. half lie. Uh, 
Because if you're with me on Christmas and you're not with your baby, I'm concerned. Ah, well. If you're with me on Thanksgiving and not your child, I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Or vice versa. Why aren't you with me? So, Isabella, I, I mean, you know, I want to point my fingers at Dustin, but boo the fool, Isabella, where were you? Oh, yeah. And you're saying, Isabella, move on. Absolutely. Keep it trucking, girl. To the left, <sighs> to the left. All right. Thank you, Nyla. I was feeling okay about my suggestion until I heard Nyla's position, and she sounds really right. 